Hello and welcome everyone from our studio in Karlsruhe. On March 1st of this year, German journalist and film writer Gerhard Wisniewski spoke about Russia's current role. It is my impression that Russia is acting astonishingly, diplomatically and defensively, as opposed to the West. The question is, as always, if and when this entire Western-driven conflict will spill over into a military conflict. And that depends on how much Russia is pushed into a corner geopolitically. If I push an animal into a corner, it will eventually have to defend itself with violence, stated Vishnevsky. Russia pushed into a corner geopolitically? This is an entirely different picture than the Western media and politicians are trying to show and impress on us by relentlessly calling Putin the aggressor. But judge for yourself. The leading Republican hardliners in the U.S. Congress, led by Senator John McCain, proposed a bill draft on April 30th of this year, which is meant to force highly intensified confrontation with Russia. The official title of the bill is Russian Aggression Prevention Act, so a regulation against Russian aggression. But judge for yourself whether this is actually about prevention or if Russia is supposed to be pushed farther into the corner. Firstly, geopolitically by raising military armament, secondly, economically through sanctions, and thirdly, domestically by infiltration. First, geopolitically, by raising military armament, this bill enables that Ukraine will be quickly provided with weapons worth $100 million. Ukraine, Moldavia and Georgia are to be given the status, I quote, important allies outside of the NATO. This would make it much easier to export weapons into this region. Poland and the three Baltic republics, Estland, Letland and Lithuania, will constantly have international NATO task forces stationed there. Secondly, economically, through sanctions, four more Russian credit institutions, the power companies Gazprom and Rosneft, as well as the state company for weapons exports, are to be placed on the sanctions list. In the case that any further regions of the Ukraine would decide to join the Russian Federation, then all Russian state-owned firms will be cut off from the global financial system. European companies would then no longer be able to legally do business with Russia. Thirdly, domestically by infiltration. In the years 2015 to 2017, $10 million per year are to be used for the so-called democratization of Russia. I quote, directly or indirectly, non-government organizations will support democracy, transparency, accountability and anti-corruption in the Russian Federation. Also, all kinds of so-called independent media will be built up in Russia, including news coverage supporting American politics. What the U.S. government means by democratization is something you can see clearly illustrated by the past few years. First, they thread in aggressive demonstrations, then use these to start civil wars in the countries and thus violently overthrow unwanted governments. This has happened in Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, Syria, and recently in the Ukraine on Maidan Square in Kiev. Not one trace of democracy left. These countries are now in total chaos and are for the most part a war zone, just as even our media has had to repeatedly admit, most currently concerning Libya. Valued viewers, do you think the USA would allow such meddling in their domestic affairs? Who then is the real aggressor? Observe for yourselves, who will act diplomatically and defensively in the next few months? And who is really being provoked and pushed into the corner? Talk to your friends and family about it, and please, form your own opinion about this topic. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.